So a lot of my uh, liberal friends think the BBC is just this sterling news organization that ha has this really great reputation and that they're just so much better than U.S.-based news. Well, I want to read you one article that really makes me question that assumption, and at least in this case, they did a fucking horrible and, in fact, shameful fucking job. So I'm going to read you this BBC News article that came out this morning, and I want to see you if you uh, notice something strange about this article. So it's short. I'll read it to you. Three teenagers who broke into a home in Oklahoma were tri uh, killed by the homeowner's son firing an assault-style AR-15, say police. Assault-style. By the way, the police didn't say that. They just said AR-15. Getting a hint yet? Mm. So three teenagers who broke into a home in Oklahoma were killed by the homeowner's son firing an assault-style AR-15, say police. They were dressed in black, all had masks on, and all had gloves on. That's an actual quote from Deputy Nick Mahoney. The intruders, who police say were armed with brass knuckles and a knife, were shot by a 23-year-old man in an act of self-defense, officers said. I'm pretty sure they didn't have bunny ears intonation around self-defense, BBC. I digress. The son may not face charges due to so-called stand-your-ground laws. So-called. Yeah, it's an actual law. And that's the actual name of the law, stand your ground. The, to di digress from the article real quick, what the stand your ground law basically means is you are not obligated to retreat or submit to intruders of your home. On your property, if anybody invades your property and shows any intent whatsoever to harm you or your property, you have the right to fucking vanquish them, shoot to kill and face no legal repercussions. And I, as a liberal left-wing blah blah blah, cuck whatever, stand by this law 100%. You should have no obligation to endanger yourself or your property in order to just protect the fucking livelihoods of people who have invaded your house with weapons. But oh, we'll get to that. <clears throat> So the intruders, who police say were armed with brass knuckles and a knife, were shot by a 23-year-old man in an act of self-defense, officer said. The son may not face charges due to so-called stand-your-ground laws. Quote, this may be a case of stand-your-ground. However, it's too early to say for sure, and we're still looking into all aspects of this. Now, I want to point out something very interesting about the way this is typed by the BBC. This may be, this, open quote, may be a case of Stand your ground. See, this is the rarely used single apostrophe quote within a quote. Because I bet you money that Deputy Mahoney didn't go, stand your ground, to the reporters present at the site. He just said, this may be a case of stand your ground. Because that's the law. It's the BBC who went, quote, quote, bunny or stand your ground. Are you, are you notice anything yet, dear viewer? This may be a case of stand your ground. However, it's still too early to say for sure, and we're still looking into all aspects of this, Mr. Mahoney told local media. It's Deputy Mahoney, okay? He was referring to the laws in some states that say a citizen can legally use lethal force if they feel their life is in imminent, imminent danger. Yeah. <clears throat> Two of the teenagers died inside the home, and one ran outside before dying in the driveway. The teenagers broke through a sliding glass door in the back of the house before encountering the homeowner's adult son. The teenagers broke in through a sliding glass door in the back of the house before encountering the homeowner's adult son, who was armed with an AR-15 assault-style rifle, police say. They didn't say assault-style. They didn't say assault-style. You said assault-style. Stop with your fucking scary language bullshit, okay? This isn't a propaganda piece. This is a fucking news article about an event. BBC. Shame on you. The man who authorities say also lives at the address with his father opened fire on the teens, the intruders, the home invaders, the teens. Fuck you. After they had a short exchange of words. Authorities say they have no reason to believe the, ho the home residents knew the teen. Two of the teens are under 17 years old and one is between 18 and 19, meaning he's an adult. So two teens, one adult. Fuck you and your semantics. Ooh, he's 18, therefore he's a teenager. He's a legal adult. Fuck you. If you're going to mention it to the 23-year-old son, if that's so fucking important, then mention that one of the intruders was legally an adult. Shame on you, BBC. You're fucking scum. A fourth person has been arrested and facing murder and burglary charges. We're going to skip over that part. Uh, the getaway driver who was a, a young uh, girl. 
was also arrested and faces murder and burglary charges. <clears throat> now, I want to read you now the CBS News article about this. One thing you're going to notice is it's longer and not full of anti-gun propaganda and victim blaming. Yes, that's right. BBC obviously was victim blaming the guy who stood his ground and defended himself from attackers armed with weapons. And you'll see why that if people had read this article instead of the BBC article, we wouldn't have a bunch of fucking Monday morning quarterbacks running around armchair assessing the situation like we're all owned with pit boy knives and can just, or pit boy fucking things and can just, like in Fallout, just vats target, like shoot gun out of hand. I just shoot him in the leg. I just fire a warning shot. Well, we'll see if you hear the way CBS describes the event, if you might second guess your fucking assessment of how you could have handled the situation in a way that didn't end with three dead home invaders, not teens. Mm -mm. So BBC, uh, CBS at least mentions exactly where this happened. This was in Broken Arrow, o Oklahoma. Okay, Three teens were fatally shot by a homeowner's son who was armed with an AR-15 rifle. AR-15 rifle, the assault style is conspicuously missing. By the way, it wasn't a machine gun, so it's not an assault style gun. It's just a rifle that's made out of parts that make it look scary to you because you think it's out of an action movie because you're a fucking coddled, entitled prick who's never encountered gun violence before or held a gun or know what they do. So three teens were fatally shot by a homeowner's son who was armed with an AR-15 rifle when they tried breaking in. Oklahoma authorities say they succeeded in breaking in, so CBS won't knock against you. The Wagoner County Sheriff's Office said the homeowner and his 23-year-old son were in the home when three males wearing masks and gloves tried to enter the house around 12.30 p.m., Monday uh, reports said. Oh, so this actually happened in the daytime. Okay, well, that's it. that is interesting. Who fucking home invades people in broad daylight? It's fucking stupid. And in Oklahoma, genius. <coughs> so maybe it wasn't dark, uh, my mistake, but <coughs> they were all masked. So Deputy Nick Mahoney says officers arrived to all find all three dead. The neighborhood is in an unincorporated part of the county about 20 miles southeast of N Tulsa, otherwise known as out in the boondocks. Okay, maybe not necessarily in deserted area, but you can safely assume that when you're in some unincorporated area that you can count on the police taking at least 11 minutes to get to your house. That's actually the national average. It probably could have taken much longer. So you tell me how you can safely by yourself um, harmlessly subdue three armed people who've broken into your home. <coughs> so these three individuals came into the residence with the intent to burglarize it, Deputy Nick Mahoney said. One was with brass knuckles, the other one was with a knife. Mahoney said they were masked at the time, all had gloves in. They entered in through a back door, shattering the back door, and they entered into the residence. So again, shame on both BBC and the CBS. They broke through the sliding glass door and entered the house. Okay, so this was a home invasion, just so you know. After hearing, quote, loud bangs, unquote, the homeowner's son went to the back of the residence and encountered the intruders and shots were fired, authorities say. Deputies said two of the teens died inside the house while the third ran from the home before dying in the driveway, which more than likely means that two of the inv home invaders, again, also problem with you, CBS, were instantly killed inside the residence while a third succumbed to his wounds while fleeing. This is more than likely the case. I can't say for sure. I don't have the information to say that for certain, but I find that much more likely, and I find the CBS article more vindicating of that assumption. I think it's fair. The deceased were males ages 16, 17, and 18. A fourth person was arrested, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't really care about the getaway driver. Assault style. So-called self-defense. Fuck you, okay? Here's something I want to end with this. Dear BBC, I know you live in the UK where pretty much nobody has guns and most of the police officers don't even walk around with them, which is why Islamic terrorists have a pretty easy time stabbing them to death. Anyway, <coughs> here in the United States, one of the reasons why there's so much BLM support in the UK is they don't understand the plight of police officers in this country, which is to say 
that you must make the assumption as the victim of a violent crime and as a police officer responding to one, you must make the assumption that the subject could be armed with a firearm, not just a knife or his bare hands, but a firearm. And guns can kill you very instantly from a pretty far distance, okay? Which is why our police officers have guns, and a lot of people have guns for self-defense, because you should assume that people attacking you have guns. And it is, in fact, very often the case that home invaders, not in this particular case, but they very often do, have guns. And it's not... Un it's not uncommon for home invaders to kill the residents of the home that they are robbing. Most people who burglarize a home do it when the homeowners are away or at night when the homeowners are asleep. This happened at 12.30 p.m. in broad daylight, high fucking noon. So, when you have three masked assailants charging into your home, by breaking straight through the glass door in the middle of the fucking day, uh, good thing this guy had a gun to fucking kill them. Okay, I'm not necessarily pro-gun rights. I'm not all that interested in guns. I don't believe the Second Amendment is under any threat in this country and therefore have a habit of not taking gun nuts or gun right advocates, to use a more um, charitable term, seriously in the least. Because they're all worried about the government. Well, one thing I do support them on is their right to defend their lives and property from fuckwit thugs like this. And in this sort of the case, I am gun rights all the fucking way. And fuck you, cuck BBC. Shame on you. Okay? I know that usually if somebody's invading your home, they're not armed at all or have a baseball bat or a fucking katana or some stupid bullshit. I mean, fuck, you go to jail for having a knife longer than TJ fucking Kirk's dick in fucking the UK. Here, usually not the case. All right. So this was a one billion, 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 billion times infinity percent justified homicide. And it's fucking laughable. All these people like, fire warning shots or tell them to go away or I'd shoot them in the kneecaps or fucking some shit. That's not the way violence works. If you've ever been in a fight, you know that shit happens fast. You get tunnel vision. Your heart rate spikes. Adrenaline is going. Your life is being threatened by people armed with fucking weapons. And you must respond instantly. And if you've ever been trained to use a gun, as it's highly likely that the fucking victim, let's refer to him as such, of this home invasion, let's refer to it as what it is, had likely been trained to do was fire into center mass, uh, just like cops. Cops are trained to do this. If you're going to discharge a firearm, you fire into, into center of mass, and you shoot to neutralize the threat, which, let's be honest, usually results in the death of be the person being neutralized. Because if you're going to shoot the gun, we don't play in this video game movie, I could wing him, I could fucking Clint Eastwood shoot all their guns out of their hand. Fuck you. In real life, what happens is you play to win or you fucking die. Okay, so I've gone on long enough. That article from the BBC was fucking shameful, disgusting political propaganda instead of an accurate assessment of the events. And think about that. Whenever you think you've found a mainstream news site that you think is trustworthy, chances are you're fucking wrong. Thanks for watching.